Do you know that Excel can think like humans and make decisions on the basis of certain criteria? For beginners, it may seem unusual, but there are certain logical formulas which can perform certain calculations on the basis of criteria defined in there. So if you are new to formulas in Microsoft Excel, this is the right place to start with. I am starting a new series on logical formulas. If you want to follow along, download the file from the link below in the description. Hi, I am Salim Heather from SHK Excel World. Today we are going to learn the use of if formula, which is a logical formula and is very useful. So let us learn the syntax of the formula first. So the if formula requires you to identify three different aspects. It says if you perform a logical test, if the logical test is true, what should it do? And if the logical test is false, then what should be the result? For ease of understanding, I have listed the aspects of the formula here and easy to understand meaning. So if logical test means that the criteria that you are testing a criteria, if that is fulfilled, value if true, do a certain calculation. So the first part relates to the criteria being fulfilled and value if false, if the criteria isn't fulfilled, then what sort of calculation it should do. So this is the overall syntax, but once we do it practically, we will be able to understand it. So go to the basic sheet. In this basic sheet, we have a list of students and marks in a particular subject. So the logical test here is that the passing marks are 40. So anyone who has obtained marks equal to or greater than 40 stands passed and rest of and rest of the students stand fail. If formula can help here, so against the first student, I am writing the formula equal to if and press 10. So logical test is if 86, the marks are greater than 39. The reason I am writing 39 is that 40 is also the passing mark. So if it is greater than 39, so it should consider 40 as a passing mark. So if, so if this criteria stands true, it should give us pass. If we want to get a text in return, we should always write it in inverted commas. Otherwise, it will give an error. And if the logical test is not true, it should give us fail. And that will in, in inverted commas and bracket close and enter. Select the first one and shift down arrow. Select the complete range and press Ctrl D to copy it to the below cells. We have learned the use of if formula in a very simple way. In the upcoming video, I am going to tell you the difference between hard coding anything in a formula and using cell references. Hope you have learned the if formula. Do provide your feedback and subscribe to SHK Excel World. Do not forget to press the bell icon to get future notifications of upcoming videos. Thank you.